They're here. Hi, I'm Engineer Hoist, and yes, that's right, the combiners are here, the long-awaited feature in Transformers Earth Wars, and uh, I gotta tell you, I got an early look at it because of the uh, work that I do for Space TV, I, it's just because I'm a YouTuber, there's a bunch of us uh, YouTubers and streamers that get an opportunity to look at these things first, so we can bring you these first look videos, and man, I gotta tell you, these things are really cool. First and foremost, how do you get them? Well, it is a new campaign, you probably saw it in the stream if you saw it, where it was accidentally shown uh, but here it is it's five new stages you go through and when you finish you get the ability to create a combiner lab and uh, there's this whole storyline in al along with this uh, written by Simon Furman the Transformers legend who's written a lot of the other stories and worked great with these uh, the, the space ape developing this game and uh, so there's a lot of stuff and you do actually get to use the combiner as part of this campaign for three of the five campaigns. Uh, now I went ahead and completed that because I don't want to spoil anything for you uh, for that, let you go see that. Although I'm sure there's other videos out there where you can go spoil it for yourself if you want. Um, so first thing you get, uh, you go and you get this combiner lab here. Now. Uh, you go and get that, it was, I think, 50 alloy, like 5-0, like hardly anything. Anybody could build this. Um, and it, it built immediately, and then once you build that, then you can go build the ore harvester here. And you can see you earn one per hour, and you can store up to 50 in there uh, as your maximum harvest. And then you also have the ore 13 storage, which you can store up to 100. Now, the way you activate the combiners is you have to use this ore, and it takes 25 to activate the combiner. And for, and for the Autobots, it's Superion, and for the const uh, <laughs> Constructicons, for the Decepticons, it's the Constructicons who form Devastator. Um, and when, once you activate it, he's active for 15 minutes. It starts a countdown, and you got 15 minutes to get as many battles in with him as you can. Uh, but let's go ahead and go take a look at him in the lab. And there he is. Uh, he's only available in three and four stars. To create the three star Superion, which I have here, uh, you have to have three stars or better of all six of these aerial bots here. Silverbolt, Air Raid, Firefly, Skydive, Alpha Bravo, and yes, Power Glide, because as you can see, Power Glide forms the gun. Because in the Combiner Wars toy line that's how uh, alpha bravo was uh, marketed and it holds over here into transformers earth wars and you can tap on it and you can move around it into uh, and see superion from all angles that you want and you can see they're very faithful to the combiner wars toys and the model that they've created here in transformers earth wars and if you tap on him he splits apart into the six individual components and then you can fly around there uh, i like how they're all hovering here alpha bravo is the only one that really makes sense to do that <laughs> because they're all jets but hey you know what it's cool um they're cybertronian they could do other things you tap it again and they form back into superion they form him they grab power glide out of the air slap him under their hand and make him the gun so let's go ahead and back out of that and uh, you can see there are three abilities that you can have. You can, you, there are the Russian Smash, which allows you to rush into combat and deals damage very much like the Optimus Prime or Ironhide uh, ability. That's available at three stars. And so is the Rocket Swarm. Fires a swarm of 16 rockets, dealing a massive amount of damage over a large area. It's got a spread very similar to Dust Up, only it is much, much more powerful. Now, if you have all of the four stars, then you uh, can form the four star Superion and you get this extra third ability, the Death Ray. It fires a powerful beam that, again, deals a huge amount of damage to a single target, but it can't be used on the HQ. And you do get to try oops, both versions. There's, I believe, two levels with the three star and one level with the four star uh, combiner in the campaign. So you can try out all of those abilities. 
um, to form him, once you have all the parts that you need, it does cost 700,000 Energon to form him at the three-star level. And as you can see here, it's three million to rank him up to the four-star. Now that means you basically have to have a level 14 headquarters with pretty much maximum Energon storage for at least two of them. So uh, it's going to be pretty uh, long road for uh, getting a four-star Superion, except for the, the uh, few people who might actually already be there. Now to upgrade him, it uses this new thing called Superion Spark, and I imagine Devastator has Devastator Spark. To you, you use the spark in the combiner lab to upgrade Superion, and you get it from duplicate aerial bots in the space bridge. Hey, guess what? You're gonna be looking forward to getting duplicates now. Uh, maybe not, but uh, if you've got a Superion and you want to upgrade them, that's what you got to do. And you can see down here in the bottom left, uh, I've got him at level four. So to get to level five, it requires 15,000, and then it's a, got a two-day timer. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit less uh, for, for the other ones. The, the, from level one to level two, it's not a whole lot. You can get that from probably two or three uh, duplicates. All right, so enough of that. You want to go uh, see him in action, don't you? All right, well, now, like I said, he's only active for 15 minutes, so you definitely want to plan out uh, your uh, bots and your attacks first because that timer just keeps on running and you don't want to waste it. So when you go first go in your squad, you'll see it says Combiner Inactive. A lot of you who've done the update have probably already seen that. So I've got this team all set to go, and there's my Torchbearers. I'm waiting for the Victorion. Not available yet, but should be coming i'm sure in some future update uh, and then of course there's the aerial bots so we'll go ahead and go oh first we got to go ahead and activate him so we'll go ahead and do that we tap activate and see that timer it's already ticking so ah don't want to do that let's go ahead and hurry up and see we're already wasting like 10 seconds let's get in here and uh start attacking some people all right, we're going to go ahead and go into zone six. And we're going to take uh, this team here. And you saw, I, I didn't mention it, but you saw it says combiner active down there. It shows you the timer. So here we go. We've got Omega Prime. Now this is on the uh, beta test account. Um, I believe they said it's going to, they're looking to release the combiners to everybody uh, next week. What that means next week, not sure, but it usually comes around uh, Wednesday or Thursday with the new features. Okay, so the timer just keeps on ticking, keeps on ticking. So here we go. You deploy Superion by tapping down in the bottom right corner right next to this special ability. And, uh, but let me tell you, when he's active, he's the only one active. So if you, and you could end up finishing this without deploying any of your other bots. So if you want them to get XP, you go ahead and drop them first. And then go ahead and deploy Superion over on the other side. It takes those bots out and then it focuses on Superion and then he just goes to town. Okay, let's go ahead and take out the, these uh, weapons over here with this spread. Look at that. Boom. That's pretty devastating right there, isn't it? Now, see, it doesn't use ability points. It just builds up over time. And we can do go ahead and do this rush smash into that while the other one is upgrading. Boom, take that out. Look, look we can go ahead and do this rocket spread again. Now, he's only available for a limited amount of time because even if he's not taking damage, it does uh, go down. Uh, his, his health does go down. So even if he doesn't take damage, he will run out. Uh, so the idea is to get as much damage done to the base as possible uh, in the little bit of time that you have. Okay, and let's go over here. Megatron's down. Let's go hit that headquarters, and boom. Now he's just going to start pounding on that headquarters. Oh, Breakdown thinks he's going to come in here. Oh, he distracted him. No, oh, there goes Breakdown, and we're back to the headquarters, and it's gone. And he was so happy he fell down and broke apart. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, so there's that. And uh, that was the first battle. We'll go ahead and click through here and accept the uh, experience points. Finally got Grimlock over here on this test account. I've, I've had him on my main account, actually, for quite a while. And I love that Grimlock. And yes, I got lucky and got a four-star prime from a crystal, actually, on this beta account. Man, I, when I pulled him, I was like, oh, why could that be on the main account? Uh, anyway. Okay, so now we're down to 12 minutes. Let's go ahead and get back in there and do another battle. 
<laughs> no time to waste here when we're doing the the uh, combiners. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back in here to zone six. We'll go ahead and take the torch bearers or the rust renegades if you believe the uh, packaging for uh, Victorion. And the uh, those are the and those are all ladies, by the way. I see a lot of people calling them hims and he's and stuff like that. Those are all ladies. Even Victorion, their combined form is a lady. They're all female. Uh, so uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, drop drop everybody in here, just in case. And then we'll go ahead and send Superion right behind them. They get taken away uh, and just sit from the sideline. They go have a cup of coffee or whatever it is the Cybertronians uh, do when they're uh, when they're taking a break. And then just sit back and watch Superion as he goes and just destroys everything in sight. All right, there goes that mortar, and uh, we'll go ahead and fire these missiles over here to this other one. He's taking some damage, but you know he's he's big and he's tough. Megatron thinks he can fight him. Yeah, he was wrong. Let's go ahead and rush over here into the headquarters, and boom! Hey, that looks like dust up over there. That's a little weird. Um, me, hmm, interesting. Okay, so we're doing that. Let's go ahead and just do. Can we do that? Oh, now we're too close to do that little smash. That's after it's okay. I think we're going to be in here. We're going. Uh oh, he's losing health. He's losing health. Are we going to get it? No, he didn't quite get it. So now everybody else gets dropped down in there, and so they get to go in there and finish the battle. But we're so close. We could probably get in there with one missile from Storm Clash, and it's over. That's right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get through this as fast as we can. All right. Come on. We don't have time for this level up stuff. Let's go through. Okay. Pyromagna's up another level. All right. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> and okay. We're, now we're going back out there. And let's see. What else can we do? Who's next? Okay, yeah, you know, I don't think I pointed it out, but if you zoom in here, you can see a, a little hologram of Superion there on the uh, Combiner Lab. Oh, we're down to 9 minutes and 39 seconds. Let's get back in there and go do another battle. And uh, let's go into Zone 7 this time. That might be a, little, that might, might be a bad idea, because this uh, other team I'm bringing in here uh, is not my strongest... Uh, so yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and back down to Zone 6, just in case uh, Superion can't... Uh, uh, take care of business So here we go, we're gonna go into battle and these are the aerial bots here So you can see it does not matter you don't have to take them in but you can take them in Because again while Superion or Devastator is active all of the other bots that you're sending in there um, Are taken away and that makes sense especially if you're taking in the aerial bots you that'd be a little weird uh, having the aerial bots fighting alongside Superion, I mean, what is this? That Carnage and C Minor episode where they had Hotspot standing right next to Defensor? Fans of the G1 show will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop these guys in here. But we're going to go ahead and deploy Superion. Now, you don't have to deploy all your bots. You can just send Superion and deploy your bots later if he takes if he t uh, doesn't take care of business. Or you can just deploy one and do some of the power leveling. You know, it's it's you know it's completely up to you how you want to how you want to uh, work your uh, combiner and you know it's it's all it's all an attack strategy and what you prefer. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see. Can we? Do this some more? Yeah, let's get rid of all that. Okay, cleared out the side. Where are you going? Head to the headquarters. I like that we have this rush that we can direct him a little bit so he doesn't get distracted by all the stuff around the outside. Oh, Tantrum comes in and tries to hit him. Let's go ahead and shoot some uh, rockets over here, see if we can maybe get rid of that. Uh, nope, not all the way. Okay, Tantrum's down. And there's the... Headquarters, he's, we're gonna get it. Yes, we did. Woohoo! Okay, three for three. Superion and the Autobots. Okay, here we go. Come on, let's go through. Oh, we're gonna get some level ups over here because I got just got these aerial bots. Hmm, come on. <laughs> There's Air Raid. 
and there's Alpha Bravo and Skydive and Ultra Magnus. I've had Alpha Bravo for a little while, and I've had Ultra Magnus for a little while, so I've had a chance to level them up a little bit in beta. I don't play this much too much, this version too much. I'm mostly on the main account, so my bot's over on that account are much, much higher. Okay, we got just about seven minutes left. Let's go back to battle. And this would be a good time, if you've got coins, to be uh, saving them up for to go uh, skip some cooldowns here. Uh, because it, it you know, save yourself the time uh, from having to switch out the bots. So here we go. We're going into zone 7 now. Uh, we saw Superion can pretty much take care of his zone 6 base by himself. Let's see how he does in zone 7. That's the max level I have in this one, uh, on this uh, account. All right, here we go, here we go. And let's go ahead and drop all of our bots. And then we will drop Superion. And here we go, aerial bots form and Superion. And there we go, he's, he's moving in, he's moving in. We're gonna go ahead and send some rockets over here to these uh, heavy hitters like the mortars and the, uh, and the beam laser. All right, we got rid of that laser. And let's go ahead and rush over to that mortar, see if we can't get rid of that thing, too. Yeah, it's gone. Hey, more uh, rockets. Let's try to clear out this area here. Oh, that mortar's not quite gone, and he'll hit me if I'm over at the headquarters. So we'll go ahead and rush over here, take him down. Okay, here comes Megatron. Thinks he's going to be all tough and try to knock me down. But I'm going to shoot some rockets over his head and, and on his head. <laughs> Okay, and let's go hit that Russian smash, and here we go right into the headquarters, and boom! And now we're just going to be taking care of business on this headquarters. And can can I hit this with those rockets? Uh, we're going to try. Yes, look at that. And you can see, even though he's not taking damage, his health bar down here at the bottom is going down. So it's just a matter of time. So there goes the others. Now this is one of the things that's where you almost want to be making sure that you take in Optimus Prime or somebody else can rush because now you're so far away that uh, everybody's uh, distracted and you've, you're already about halfway through your time. Can Optimus hit that? Oh, he's just out of reach. Walk, walk that way, don't walk the other way, Optimus, please. Okay, he's walking towards it. Let's hit that and rush everybody over there. Get over there, Gnaw. Get over there, Sea Spray. Get over there, Windblade. There we go. That's interesting that we had those guys sitting over there down in the back. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. We got Sea Spray. We got Gnaw. The Shark Decon. I love this little guy. I only got him in two star in the main account, but but he's actually doing really well both on the Decepticon and the Autobot side. And uh, it, is, it was a great addition to the game. It's so 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 great, so great. I love love the little gnaw. Can't wait till he comes out in the regular crystals. Hopefully we can get him in a three or a four star. Cause my luck wasn't too good. <laughs> we only had six crystals to open, so. And uh, but uh, hey, two stars is is good. Two stars is good. And I've been leveling up uh, a lot of my two stars. Uh oh, three minutes twenty one seconds. Let's get in there, do another battle. See, see this is this is what you got to do. Oh no no no, we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and go back into zone seven. Bonus. Yes, I'm going to use some coins for this. Let's skip and go back in here. Oh, I didn't want to do that battle. No time to waste when your combiner is active, people. No time to waste. You got 15 minutes, and that's it. And then he's done. And then your ore has depleted. And then you got to use more. Now, if you have, if you've built it up over a few days, that's that's fine. But it, remember, it only builds at one per hour, and it requires 25 ore. So you'll get about 15 minutes of combiner usage per day. Uh, if you're using him all, every day, but you can store up to four activations worth. You can store a hundred uh, ore, which allows you to activate him four times. Uh, so, so you could have an hour straight worth of uh, combiner usage if you saved up all of your ore, uh, which would probably be a good thing for events. 
uh, if you so desire. Although Superion does not earn experience points from this, he doesn't build up the ability points, uh, and nor does he use the ability points. It's all just based on cooldown uh, for these abilities. You can see that they're, they're kind of uh, rotating around similar to uh, radar. So, um, there we go. Let's, let's go ahead and take care of this over here with the rockets. Okay, oh, Starscream, you're annoying me. <laughs> and there goes the mortar. And uh, let's go ahead and smash onto here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try to take out this laser turret with the rockets. Yes. Can, can we get the headquarters? Can we get the headquarters? Boom. Can we? Oh, we're almost. No. There we go. Let's rush over here to this research lab, Optimus. Should get us close enough. Can we get to the headquarters? Yes. Definitely want to take Optimus in uh, when you're using the com or, or Megatron when you're using the combiner, so you can use that rush because otherwise it's going to be a, a time crunch to get these uh, ba battles uh, completed. Okay, there's that. What was that? Four, five battles. Not that might be the last one that we get. Let's go ahead and get through all these leveling ups and XP distribution. There goes Hot Spot, Slug, Optimus Prime. And here we go back out. Do we have time left? Do we have time left? Let's go see. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh no, the time's run out. Okay, so there you go. There's some gameplay with uh, Superion, and uh, I imagine it's going to be very similar for uh, for Devastator, as I obsessively collect all of my resources. Um, oh yeah, and there are some new um, achievements that you can get. Uh, you construct the combiner lab, assemble your own three-star combiner, and build a storage and harvester, and I believe there is also one for combining, completing creation of a four-star combiner. Uh, so there's uh, chances for you to go do all that. So anyway, there's the uh, uh, the first look at, uh, well, probably not the first look, there's other videos out there, but that's my first look at uh, the combiners in Transformers Earth Wars, and I gotta tell you, it is super cool, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting this on my main account, and I'm hoping that uh, you guys all, all find it uh, to be a good thing, because I, I really think it's a good thing. It, it, it was worth the wait. Uh, great job, Space Ape, and uh, everybody involved with all that. And um, I'm Engineer Hoist. Thanks for watching.